Hello YouTube, my name's James and welcome to our third and final part of our ultimate smartphone test. Now today we are looking at battery. We've already looked at speed and we've already looked at the camera. You can see these videos just above me if you haven't watched them already. We're taking the iPhone 6S, the Samsung Galaxy S7, the LG G5, the HTC 10, the Huawei P9 and the Sony Xperia Z5. We're taking those six phones and we're going to look at the battery. So just to explain a little bit how this test actually works, we have a web script with some of our favourite websites running. We're going to put all the phones onto full brightness, make sure all the phones are under the same conditions and then run the script and see after an hour and then after two hours and see what battery life we're left over with. So let's see what happens in an hour. So the iPhone 6S comes with a 1,715 milliamp battery. That's the smallest battery out of all of these. The Huawei, the HTC, and the Samsung all come with a 3,000 milliamp battery, while the LG G5 has a 2,800 milliamp battery, and the Sony Xperia Z5 has a 2,900 milliamp battery. A smaller battery doesn't necessarily mean a shorter battery life. This comes down to how the phone is optimized and how it uses what it has behind the scenes. So now we've hit the hour mark and the HTC 10 is winning. It has 81% battery life left over. And in second place is the Samsung Galaxy S7 with 75% battery. The Sony is just behind that with 73% and the Huawei is just behind the Sony with 72% left over. Fifth place goes to the LG G5 with 71% battery left over. And in last place is the iPhone 6S with only 64% left. So after an hour, there's already quite a big difference in all of these battery lives. The HTC 10 has actually got 17% more battery than the iPhone 6S has. So we've still got another hour to go and it's all to play for. Let's see what these phones look like after two hours. So at the end of our test, the HTC 10 is still in first place with 56% of its battery left over. The Samsung Galaxy S7 is again in second place with 48% left over. Surprisingly, the Huawei has jumped up to third with 43% and the Sony Xperia Z5 has dropped down to fourth with 40%. The LG G5 is in fifth position with 39% while the iPhone 6S is almost done with 22% in last place. The HTC 10 has run away with this test. Compared to the phone in second place, it has 8% more battery than that. That's a fantastic result for HTC. What's really interesting here about the LG G5 is when we ran our normal video test on the phone, it had 91% of its battery left over. That involves running a full HD 90 minute video with full connectivity options on. Now that is a great result, considering some of the other phones on this list came out with results like 70 or 85%. It takes a lot more processing power to be browsing the internet and the LG G5 definitely struggle with that compared to when it's playing video. As expected, the iPhone 6S is in last place. The battery life on the iPhone is always a bit of an issue and this phone does have a much smaller battery size compared to some of the others. Now we know this test isn't the be all and end all of battery life. This is just for web browsing and people use their phones in different ways. So if you've got any ideas for other battery tests we can do with this lineup of phones, let us know. Now this video marks the end of our ultimate smartphone test. We're gonna release another video in the next couple of days that puts together camera, battery, and speed to give you our verdict for the best phone you can buy right now. But we hope you've enjoyed all of these singular videos. If you've got any questions about these tests, be sure to put them in the comments below and we'll answer some of them in our next video. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, and thanks for subscribing, and see you again soon.